Trent said I got style for you Ain't seen you at the top, it's been a while for you Big you up and they look down on you Take one loss, no one's around for you I won't stop So today, my loves, y'all see that I'm sitting in my living room on my couch. I'm comfortable um, because today's video is going to be an informative video. We are going to talk about some of the fall and winter 2022-2023 fashion trends. I'm so excited about the trends this year. I'm going to be talking about some, um, what's popping, what's going to be hot this season as well as um, some of the plus size storefronts that you can buy these things from. So if you're interested in the video, continue on watching. But before we jump into it, if you are new here and you love fashion like I do, please subscribe down below, turn on your notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. To my OGs and my longtime supporters, thanks for the continued support and welcome back my loves. So let's hop into it. Okay, you guys, so y'all notice I'm sitting a little bit all centered because I'm going to be popping pictures up on the screen to give you an idea of the trends that I'm talking about. But we're going to go ahead and jump into it because I'm going to talk about at least 12 today. So the first one I'm going to talk about, and you should already know this trend, if you are big on social media or if you are a big shopper or a fashion girl, you know that cargo pants are going to be extreme this year, you guys. Yes, cargo pants are going to be extreme. And I love that this year is come is going to be more of a straight leg and wide leg style of cargo pants. Um, I have a few cargo pants that kind of cinch at the ankle or have um, the elastic um, band at, or tapered type of leg at the bottom. Um, at the hemline, but I'm not big that big of a fan of those. If you are a pear shaped girl, you already know that those can make or break your outfit because I tend to feel like they don't look that well on us. I feel like they look a lot better on apple shaped women um, versus pear, and and even hour hourglass. I feel like. Maybe an inverted triangle or maybe an apple shape looks better with those type of cargo joggers or pants or whatever you may call them. I feel like pear shape and more curvy women look better in the straight leg or the wide legs because we are already bottom heavy. So when you have something that kind of balloons out at the leg and then tapers in, it makes us look even more bottom heavy. So I am dying for this style that they have made them in this straight leg or wide leg version. Y'all already know I have already picked up three different pair of cargos and different textures and different styles. If you haven't checked out my last video, go ahead and check it out because you will see the three pair that I have already brought. I cannot wait to style those items. I got my pants, I got them from three different locations, storefronts, I got a pair from Fashion Nova, I got a pair from Boohoo, as well as Pretty Little Things. So that's what I mean by they are everywhere. I just saw a pair on Eloquii. So girl, it's going to be easy to find for us plus size ladies. So run and go get you a pair. Uh, I, I Just wait till I get back from vacation. I'm going to style it up for you. And show you how to rock it <laughs> but I think this is just something really good that really good really fun really edgy that you can dress up um, you can dress them down as well but my plan is to dress these style of cargos up I plan on wearing them with a pump or a meal um, I plan on wearing them with maybe like a linen shirt instead of it being buttoned up like I have this one today maybe crisscross over and tucked into the pants with a nice blazer so yes the khaki ones yes i plan on doing that a white linen um button down cross it over in the front throw a blazer over my arms with a pair of black pumps you can also do kind of like your edgy street style with maybe a, a um a graphic rock like or concert style tee 
um, with the cargo pants and a pump or a meal. Or you can just do a basic. You can wear it with just a bodysuit. Um, it's just multiple ways that you can wear those cargo pants. So I am here for that trend. Can't wait. Okay, so the next thing that I want to talk about is your bomber style dra um, jackets, your your track jackets, your bomber and track jackets. So y'all know bombers come in and out of style frequently. <laughs> you know, we had the trends anywhere from the big puffy, like um, concert, um, 90 style um, bomber jackets. Um, then we had the crop version at one time. We had the longer kind of midi version. I had even seen maxi version bomber style jackets. So bomber and track jackets are coming back around. Now, I have never been that much a fan of bomber jackets because they tend to have a, a little extra fluff and sometimes they can make a plus size woman look a little bit heavier. So I'm not sure about this trend. Now, I, I have been on the hunt to find one that perfectly fits me. So I don't want anything um, extra overly inflated, but I still want to keep with the trend. Because actually this season, you're seeing a lot of the oversized um, bomber jackets. Um, and, and you're seeing a lot of the, the puff and, and kind of quilted. You're seeing, you're seeing them in different textures. Um, you're even seeing them leather, you guys. Your leather bomber jackets are coming back. So if you have bomber jackets still in your closet, whether it's the leather style, that nylon style, or that satin style, keep them. Um, Y'all, I'm sorry, my battery did, and I don't know where I left off, but I think I left off with talking about if you have, um, still have bomber jackets in your closet um, from a couple of seasons ago, pull those out because you can still make them or, you, you know, your own, make them still look trendy with another item, mixing it with another trend. So, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to partake in this one. But I am looking for the right style that will fit my body shape perfectly. So I don't want anything extra poofy. I don't want anything that hits me at the widest part of my body, which is my hips. So if I can find one that's right above the hip or right below the hip, I'll go for it. But I'm kind of on the fence with that. But they look really, really cool. They look awesome. So, I'm on the fence about that one, but I did want to share that with you guys. So, the next thing I want to talk about is, girl, your basic back-to-work wear. Your basic back-to-work attire. Y'all know we have been in lounge wear for the last almost three years. <laughs> so, I'm so happy that work wear is coming back into play. And what's awesome about it, the workwear is just like stepped up a notch. You know how you used to go in the office with your average colors, your grays, your blacks, your um, blues. No, honey. This year is all about the color. It's all about the color. You have been seeing so many suit sets in bold, vibrant colors. I'm here for it. Now, a couple of years ago, I'd be like, oh, no. <laughs> you know, I wasn't a big color fan. I, I was a neutral girl at heart. But now, I don't know. The rainbow has taken over, honey, because I am loving all of the bright colors. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. So that's what you're going to be seeing. You're going to be seeing um, bold colors and your suits, your two-piece suits, your blazers, your slacks, and things like that. I have been seeing them. All over the place here lately. Anyway, Nasty Gal has a few. Um, Eloquy has a few of bold colored um, suit sets or two-piece sets. Um, pretty little thing. I haven't seen them all over the place. So, definitely um, look out for that if you're going back to the office. Now, don't get rid of your loungewear because the days of telework is not over yet. You know, people are going back into the office. But at the same time, people are getting more telework days than what they once had. And not only for the colors, the style, so you're looking at a more tailored look. You're looking at a more elevated office look. I have been seeing a lot of like um, slouchy like slouch um, suit sets, pantsuit sets, 
where you have kind of like an oversized relaxed feel blazer and the oversized um, teller pants. You're going to see a lot of tellering in suits um, now. So, I can't wait. I'm here for it. I'm all for going in the office and stunting on them. <laughs> Y'all, they going to be like, when she thinks she going? And I'm going to be like, my desk. <laughs> Y'all, I'm extra as heck. I'm so extra, but I'm here for that. So I will be definitely partaking in that. I have so many crop tops, girl. I must have thought the office was never going to open back up. So I am looking to rebuild my work wear collection. Um, so I have already been looking. Eloquy is always uh, the first place I look when I want to feel... Um, business appropriate you know what I mean because they have clothes for if you want to go to work if you want to go on a date if you want to go out and play honey so I'll be looking on Eloquy as well as like I said Nancy Girl you can find some nice two sets or two piece sets that you can um you know wear to work I mean I'm all about oh my computer one day I'm all about um when I buy pieces, they need to work for all occasions, whether I'm going into the office or whether I'm going on a date, you know. Um, okay, so let's see, let's see. The next is another one that I'm like, okay, did it ever go out of style? Your basic white tank. <laughs> so I guess it's the thing is like, um, kind of like model off duty type look so you're going to be seeing this has been all over the runways um you're going to be seeing like your white beater style tank tops if y'all from east coast y'all know what a white beater is so if you're not from the east coast your white beater is almost like your men's style of tank tops the, the tank tops they wear under clothes so it's almost like that so you have the thicker straps instead of the thin spaghetti kind of camisole straps that we have been used to. So I like that. I like a thicker, I have a, a couple of those already. I like the thicker. Now I'm not saying go out and get a man's pack of tank tops undershirts. <laughs> I'm saying that style. And I have a few of those styles. I always pick mine up from H&M. Um, I will link it down below if they still have some available. But not only they have that style, you can get them from Target. Target has a awesome kind of thick strap tank top. White is the thing. So what I've been seeing, of course, I'm going to stock up on that. I love a good white tank top. Um, but what I have been seeing and how it's becoming trendy is you saw it on the runways with a whole bunch of low slung slouchy jeans. So they're making it more of a 90s style thing where you're kind of low rise jeans, extra kind of baggy, your white tank. Um, I won't be partaking in that. <laughs> I will never, ever, ever wear a low rise jean. I got too much bum for that. And if I don't want any cheek hanging out, I better go for a high rise. <laughs> so I won't be partaking in the low slung jeans. So what I'm going to do to make it my own, and I advise, la advise you ladies with any trend, don't just go by that trend. Make it yours. Make it fit you, your aesthetics, what, you know, what's pleasing to you and what you can wear. So I know that I can't wear low rise jeans. So what I will be doing and switching those low slung jeans out for a pair of high waisted slouch jeans, wide leg jeans, or just a slouch straight jean. So, just because you see it all over the runway or the magazines with these white tanks and these baggy low slung jeans doesn't mean that you can't wear it. Just get a high rise. So, that's what I'm going to do. I think it's going to be perfect for the fall season. That white tank top, that um, baggy or, or, you know, that baggy or oversized um, 90 style jean, a pump or a mule and a blazer over your shoulders, whether it's over your shoulders or on. <laughs> I'm just thinking about it. I'm thinking about all the fall trends that I'm going to style up. Girl, you can even throw you on a nice chiffon scarf, wrap it around your neck. 
But yeah, that's going to be kind of like your model off duty, kind of casual. Um, I'm a fashion girl, but I don't have to do too much type of look. Throw you on a good accessory, a nice handbag. That is perfect. I am here for the basics. That is my aesthetics. I am chic, casual, and basic. That is my fashion style summed up in three words. So let's see. Okay, the next will be shoes. So, okay, y'all know we have been in um, our comfortable state for the last three years. <laughs> well, yeah, has it been three years? Well, almost three years. So the last two so years, we have been in our comfortable state where we want to be as minimalist as possible. We want to feel comfortable. We have gave up the heels for a while and we just learning to walk in them again <laughs> so i'm happy that your flats will be back in your lug sole boots your track style boots so those thick sole boots are back in so if you brought um racked up on oh i got a kink if you racked up on your combat boots and your lug style boots last year don't worry you don't have to get rid of them um, they will be carrying on into this year. You're going to have that biker style with those, um, you can just put your foot in and then you'll have your combat style that you lace up. Even the ones that hit you um, kind of like mid calf or knee high, those are still in. Um, another thing is your thigh high boots. Those are back in as well. You have been saying, we, well, I have been saying a lot that are in the flat. You know how normally, well, not that has over the knee boots. I'm sorry, over the knee boots. You know how normally when you go for over the knee boots, the last trend that we had for over the knee were the heel, had a high heel. These, what I'm saying more of are your um, chunky sole over the knee boots or your flat over the knee boots, kind of like in that stretch material i'm seeing a lot of that even the ones that have a heel they're still going to be on in, in, on trend so y'all know last year in the gibby four legs we took a back seat well over the knee boots took a back seat to your knee high boots so over the knee boots are coming back now i'm not sure if i'm a fan of that i love a knee high i feel like a knee high looks better <laughs> I just do it looks more it looks more sophisticated it looks more luxe in my opinion um, and then y'all know sometimes it can be very hard for a plus-size woman to find a over-the-knee boot that fits properly now the best places to go you can find over-the-knee boots in wide calf I always shop Eloquy Eloquy does a good job but if you don't have a really thick um, calf or leg sometimes it can get troublesome because I noticed I have a um, over the knee boot that I got from them a few years ago and I hardly ever wore them because they always slouch down but if you have a thicker leg and it, it can stay up or you're wearing like the double sided tape you should be fine I also have shopped at um, Just Fab and Shoe Dazzle now, that shoe is not going to get you a lot of wear out of it. I'm just going to tell you it's not. But it should last you a season or two. With them, go for just the wide calf. The extra wide calf is huge. So, if you don't have a really big um, um, circum 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 circumference, then don't go for the extra wide calf. Go for the wide calf. The wide calf, to me... It's perfect for people who have a, a um, circumference in their leg of between a 17 and maybe an 18 and a half to 19. So I feel like it fits perfectly. So I will go, I always go for them in the wide, never extra wide. Um, you can find boots, over the knee boots from places like Macy's, Nordstrom's. Um, Journey has a collection. Um, ASOS, ASOS as well, but I'm going to tell you with ASOS, you have to shop now because their wide calf boots, honey, when I tell you, they sell out so fast. By the time fall gets here, they're not going to have any. 
they're not. So with all of those places, you want to shop kind of now because um, you know how hard it is to find those style boots and they run out really, really fast. Okay, so another one that I cannot wait to try is your corset. So corsets, waistlines are going to be in. Y'all know I love me a good corset over a top. So I always do my bustiers and my corsets over top of my white button downs in the fall season. This season, I'm not going to have to do that, honey, because what they have done, what they have done, wait for it, wait for it. They have built in, put in built in corsets in these tops, in these dresses. So I'm here for it. The days of you having to get a bustier or some type of corset to put over your top are gone. Well, you can still do it because I'm still going to be doing that as well. But they have the corsets now that's going to be built into the shirts and built into uh, the dresses. I have seen a few on the runways. It is done perfect. And I cannot wait to see how these fast fashion sites are going to interpret this style but i cannot wait i have a few tops that i borrowed from Shein a few years ago that already are like button downs with the corset in it um you haven't seen this trickle down for the last few years a little bit here and there but it's really going to be trendy this year so what happens when things are on trend you're able to find them easily you're able to find them. So if that's something you love, I'm the type. I love styles even when they go out of style. But when it's trending, you can find them anywhere. You don't have to search. So I'm happy for that. I, I cannot wait to find a nice um, blouse with a built-in, maybe like a white button down with a built-in corset. I want them to do, if if anybody, any plus-size fashion um retailer is out here looking at my video y'all have to do a knitwear sweater um or sweater type of dress i want that big chunky dress with like a draped shoulder with the corset built in with maybe like an asymmetrical hemline or some type of funky design at the hemline oh i can picture it in my head y'all i can picture it in my head I cannot wait. So that is something that I definitely will be will be partaking in. Okay, next up will be coats. Winter season, baby. Y'all know I love me a good coat. I have told y'all plenty of times that I have over 30 coats. <laughs> now, do I wear them all? No, I don't get a chance to because I haven't been out that much during this pandemic. But I have over 30 coats. I love me a good coat. And this season's trend will be your statement coats your couture coats your over overly dramatic coats you guys i got my eye on one now it is not in stock yet but i am eyeing it eloquy eloquy i will be making that purchase i will be making that purchase as soon as it comes available i am on the alert page or the alert email list can't wait but it's going to be your statement coats so those are going to be your more dramatic coats, your furs, your um, teddy coats, um, your your coat that has embellishment on it. You're going to see maxi limb coats, midi limb coats. You're going to see the kind of maxi coats with the belt where it's going to be extra tailoring on that coat. You're going to see all types of funky des um, patterns on the coat. So anything couture, anything that's a statement piece that's standing out run and go get it i'm definitely looking for me a maxi style coat i have a lot of midi coats i don't have a lot of maxis so i'm looking for a statement maxi coat eloquy is your best friend when it comes to coats um who else h and m of course does coats like no other um what else brev dolls do some nice coats i don't have any from them but i have seen some in the past um i have gotten a few from oh um new york and company if you are in the range of um in the range of xxl i think they only go up to xxl um new york and company has some excellent coats i have like three coats from new york and company that i absolutely 
love. So your statement coats, run and go get you one. I'm definitely, even though I have a lot, I will be picking up every year. I pick up three to four new coats. So the next thing will be your cutouts. Now the cutouts have been here for since last year, I think, maybe the year before last, but cutouts, I think last year, um, everybody started doing cutouts. That is here to stay, that has come back around. So you're gonna be seeing cutouts everywhere from shoulders to sides. You already been seeing it in the spring and summer. You're still gonna be seeing it in the winter, your cutouts. Um, so I'm here for, you're gonna be seeing sweaters and that, and, and, and with the cutouts and things like that. So I'm here for a big chunky um, sweater with a cutout. Now be mindful in those real cold months, you're gonna have to wear something under it. I would say wear like a sheer top underneath. I can have a few of those. But I'm here for, I would love to see H&M do a big chunky like um, cable knit sweater with cutouts on the side and maybe crisscross in the front. I'm here for it. I'm just, it just all depends on where the cutouts are. Don't think because you're plus size that you can't wear cutouts. It's just your body type or your body, um, yeah, your body type, whether your apple or pear your body type and will you feel comfortable with the cutouts so i don't mind cutouts on my sides um shoulders top of back i don't like cutouts in my lower back because um i'm very short torso so i pick up weight or my rows are at the bottom part of my back so i try to stay away from them i made some mistakes this summer and brought dresses of that sort and I hardly ever wore them so that's the thing you can do cutouts as a plus-size woman just be mindful of your body shape and where the cutouts are on the piece so I will be doing cutouts I will be doing them but I need to find the ones that fit me okay your next thing is girl they have recycled some of the trends from last year head to toe leather it is back. It is back. This year, we're going to be seeing um, a lot of kind of oversized, baggy, um, streetwear, 90 style leather. You're going to have everything from your bucket hats to your oversized blazers to your slouchy straight leg um, pants. And what I'm seeing a lot of is going to be low rise. You're going to see a lot of low rise um, kind of tailored slouchy just like with the suits tailored slouchy pants. You're going to see a lot of that I don't think I'm edgy enough or That fun <laughs> where I can pull off leather head to toe So I don't think I will be partaking in I'm definitely not doing any low rise or low slung leather pants um, Now I have a ton of leather pants in here leather blazers in here leather coats in here so if I partake in it, it won't be in that edgy look that I have been seeing all over the place. It'll just be a nice blazer um, or a nice skirt to go with the blazer or pair of pants and things like that. But leather head to toe, leather is here to stay. It has been around for the last three to four years. It's not going anywhere. Just um, the, the styles of it are changing. Last year it was the kick flare. The year before that it was the straight leg. The year before that, it was the sh um, skinny leg. This year, it is the low slung, slouchy. But don't throw away those other pieces that I just mentioned from the following years because they're still going to be cool. And that's what I'll be doing. I won't be purchasing the low slung. <laughs> but I think it's, it, I have seen so many street style looks with bomb, with your girls with their crop tops or their bralettes and their oversized um blazers and their low slung um look i'm going like this like i really in the 90s you guys you got a rap her uh with your um slouchy low rise pants and your your cool sneakers with the bucket hat it's been looking so cool but i i'm not sure i'm not sure if i'm cool enough or i'm hip enough or fashionable enough to pull that off i'm not sure but yeah leather heads to toe is back in um what else i don't want to miss anything for y'all oh i forgot to talk about what the shoe department clothes are into i'm not sure if i'll be partaking in that but clothes are in and those little ballerina 
like flats those are in two but i don't know i i, I i'm not going to talk much about them or about them at all because i'm not a fan maxi lymph is in maxi lymph is back yes maxis are back in y'all know i'm a midi type girl um midi is my favorite length of dress but maxis are beautiful as well maxis look perfect on people my shape if you are pear shape um maxis are really a perfect way to go especially if you have a little bit of height on you now i will say for my shorties this may be um something that you may be like ah because it can be hard to find that maxi skirt or dress that fits you at the perfect length but you can always get it cut to um to the length that you need it to be or you can shop in petites but um, maxis are definitely back in also i know for my apple shade woman that may be a bummer as well because um i feel like shorter skirts and dresses are so beautiful on apple shade women because it shows all one of the most um prettiest features of you guys and that are that is your legs apple shade women most will i'm not gonna say all but most apple shade women have very good legs so i know y'all probably like i don't want to cover up my legs you know i want to show all my good legs um so with with y'all you still don't have to worry about it because I'm not going to talk much about this trend because I'm not that much of a fan because it doesn't work for me. But um, mini skirts are still in. Those ultra mini skirts that were in that came in last year, they are back in. You still want to be seeing mini skirts everywhere, but it's going to be more of your um, elevated mini skirts. So like your tweed style skirts and your skirts that may have um, um, asymmetrical hemlines or some type of belts or pockets like cargo style you're going to see a lot of those so you know if you are shorter and you don't like that or you are maybe like apple shape or you may be like um have more like a sports style or sports physique um you may want to show off your beautiful legs honey so um maxi may not work for you but i'm here for it um it's still not my midi which i love but i'm okay for it now i'm looking to find slip dresses in maxi length y'all know i have a ton of midi length slip dresses so i'm looking for some maxi dresses and um and um slip dresses in maxi length that's what i'm looking for i did find one i think on nasty girl that i'm going to take a look at and i think i seen another one on asos so that's what i'll that will probably be one of my next purchases as well y'all i am dying to find a maxi length jean skirt so i don't want just your average maxi length jean skirt i want something that's real funky you know something real edgy um with like a asymmetric um hemline something that had or asymmetric um waistline something that has some um, distressing in it some type of maybe pockets or I don't know I just want something very very edgy something where I could be like okay the skirt is the statement piece so that's what I'm looking for I haven't found it yet but I'm on the look for a maxi length um, jean skirt as well as a some maxi length um satin slip dresses i have found those so that'll probably be one of my next purchases and to get back with the just as i talked about it a little bit to get back with your short or micro short skirts it's not really denim this year last year you were seeing the micro minis in denim and and, and things like that or you know kind of like your regular style or kind of casual style but edged up a little bit this year is going to be more um elevated you know almost like business attire now i don't know what nobody going with a whole business tweed suit with a, a micro mini skirt uh, but you know if that's what you do go ahead and do it <laughs> okay so the next the last trend i'm gonna get into two colors after that but the last 
um, trend that I'm going to talk about is all over sheen or sequins. So that's your sheen and sequins in the daytime, nighttime. You remember it was those days you would only wear that. When I mean sheen, I mean like that high gloss, almost like foil type of fabric. Now, at one time, people will, you will only see that during the holiday seasons or people will shop it for like special occasions, birthdays, holidays, things like that. Um, now, not so much. You're seeing it in your everyday wear. I have been seeing it all over the place, especially sequins. It has been so many sequin suits or two-piece sets that I was this close to buying, but like, do I need it? Am I going to wear it? <laughs> <laughs> and they're coming in all different colors. I was about to buy a green, a, I mean a hot um, neon green um, two-piece set. I can't remember. I think it was from Nasty Gal. But I told myself out of that. <coughs> Excuse me. I told myself out of that. But I haven't seen sequins all over the place as well as those high sheen tops. I haven't seen like those barely there tops and crop tops and not even just the the average um sequence that kind of sits flesh to the skin i have been seeing the ones with the big round um, um over dramatic sequence on the shirts so that is still in i thought i wasn't a fan last year i talked about this trend in my video and i said that i would never ever ever <laughs> I said I would never partake in that, but I actually found a few pieces that I love, that I love and have worn already, so I think I'm a dimple and dabble in this one. I have been seeing some cool pieces, and I may just be that chick that get a sequin suit and wear it to work. I, I may be that chick. I may be. They probably gonna talk about me. Yeah. They probably gonna talk about me. They gonna talk about me, but it's okay because I know it's me. <laughs> so yeah, I'm probably gonna partake in that. But you can find stuff like that. Nasty girl has a array. You can find them at ASOS, even Eloquy. Um, you can find them at different places. I'm pretty sure H and M will be putting something out very soon. Yeah, I have been disappointed H and M lately, but I ain't gonna talk about that. Okay, so let's go into my last trends, and that will be a little bit of color. Let's talk about the color for this year. Hot pink is going to be huge. Hot pink is going to be huge this season, you guys. I'm sorry if I'm all excited. I just love fall fashion. Um, yeah, hot pink is going to be all over the place, and I'm happy for that because I have so much. Hot pink in my closet here, lady. I used to used to not be a, a pink type of girl. I'm still not a fan of some shades of pink, like baby doll pink and things. I have brought a few baby doll pink pieces that I still have yet to wear. Um, but hot pink is my color. I love me a good hot pink moment. I love future as well, but hot pink is the thing. So I'm happy for that. Um, when I wear pink, I get the most compliments. Um, a lot of people tell me, that's my color, you know, that's the color for my skin tone. Um, so, I've been picking it up. I think that's becoming one of my favorites. It was always purple and red. Now it's going towards purple and pink. Purple and pink. So, I can't wait to partake. And that's, when I say hot pink, you want to see it everywhere. From shoes to dresses, um, shirts, suits. Um, accessories for as your handbags, your, your hats. And it's definitely going to be a hot color because I was just at the mall yesterday and was in two stores and they had a whole um, section with just all pink. You know, all pink. And it was hot pink. At first I was like, well, maybe it's, you know, coming up to September and, you know, breast cancer awareness. But then I was like, that's a different color pink. So I'm not sure if it was because um, breast cancer, cancer awareness, you know, is in, in September, maybe, or was it in October? Now, I should know this because I, well, anyway, hot pink is going to be hot this season, this fall, winter season, as well as caramel. Your caramel and camel colors, tan colors are going to be hot this season, especially that darker 
caramel color. It is going to be hot. I have seen it everywhere on um, the runways, on um, when I was doing research for this video. Everybody was talking about the caramel color this season. I'm here for it. I love caramel colors and camel colors on melanin skin. It's, it just gives a sheet. That color, that caramel color is, I don't know, it just is chic. You just automatically look chic. I always buy me, um, I'm not going to say every year, but every couple of years, I always, always replace my caramel colored coats. Um, Y'all, I just can't wait. I'm going to have to pick me up a new pair of pumps because I had a pair of pumps that child was a hot, cheap mess. Um, but yeah, caramel, you want to see it from head to toe. It's not going to be just like your coat or your, your caramel colored slacks or trousers. It's going to be from head to toe, from your coat to your hat, where you got a little tam or a fedora, to the shoes, to the pants, to the bag. So think monochrome caramel looks. Just think about how chic it's going to look. Just think about it. Okay, y'all, so that's all my time. I know this was longer than um, what I expected it to be, but I just got so excited. I love old fashion. So if you say this long through the video, do me a favor and thumbs up the video, you guys. Share the video. It really helps your girl out. Um, and leave me some comments. Tell me what you're most excited for this fall season. What trend that you will be rocking. Just let me know what you're going to be doing, girl. Because I'm going to partake in most of those um, style trends that I just talked to you about today. Alright, see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>